This is a combination of Tai Chi and Qigong practice in a limited small space. There are totally four parts. Each part, we will have four postures. Here we start part one, posture number one. Qi <coughs> Shi. The opening form. All right, have one more time on. Sideways, you can see a little bit clear. I will loosen up my shoulder and then my chest, torso, just swing the hand lightly forward and up. Then pulling back halfway the hand. Then in front of your chest, drop down. And then your arm like a butterfly, open and close. All right? So here is the heart. Your breathing, you can coordinate your breath. Breathing out, let go the stress from the torso, go through the arm to the finger, out of your body. Then you are putting in the fresh energy from the nature. Inhale, in. Then Drop down, press down, and breathing out to wash the stress, the bad energy down to bottom of your feet. Then you will, like a big hug, or you will say a prayer to gathering the hand in front of your chest. This is the Ping Xin 
Jing Qi, which is the uh, requirement for Tai Chi and Qigong practice, gathering your attention and uh, quiet tranquility you know, to quiet your mind and heart and relax. Okay. Opening from actually to open your meridian channel. So when you relax the body torso, relax the arm, you go let us dress out because the channel is relaxed and uh, flow the energy. So that's more like a preparation to open your inner energy channel all open without blockage. Okay. Posture number two is uh, Dan Bian. So you can take a look. All right, one more time. Let the hand turn and go away. Then you circle the wrist and five finger grabbing together. So this is the palm open, finger open, let go. And then hook it in. Then extension, stretch open your arm to lead the energy channel flow open okay hand from the open and the grab to stimulate the fingers uh, circulation because the we have a 12 meridian channel in the traditional Chinese medicine, we call the TCM. There are six channels go through the hand, both sides, and the six channel go through the feet. Okay, when we up the hand, the yin channel go up, yang channel from the finger to the head, from the head down the torso to the feet. So that is the basic concept here. All the Tai Chi Qigong practice is try to harmonize your yin and yang energy. Okay, here, this posture, single web, majorly it's the open your long meridian channel, which is from the corner of our upper chest, go to the thumb, both sides. When we do this small circle here, this will also stimulate your wrist to prevent the carpal tunnel syndrome or prevent the arthritic hand to make your finger flexible. Okay, that's how. It's a circle and a hook and a stretch. When you stretch, you can feel the long energy all open. And at the end, we will have a little bit of squat down. When we start down, Qi Chen Dan Tian, we feel the energy and the sink to the lower belly because of the long channel, meridian channel, and the large intensity, the acupuncture that we call the meridian channel, is a pair. They pair each other. They call it. So when we go open the arm, and then we return energy back to the lower belly, Dan Tian. This is the inner 
Qigong practice here. So you can do the other hand the same. And also you can make the motion larger torso involved. So balance the other side. See this is a big motion. And even you can squat a little lower. Alright. So this is a single whip. Posture number three is the Ti Shou Shang Shi, which is from the gathering in front. You have one hand a little bit in front. And then you also a little bit sparrow, sparrow the hand. Then you lift it up. And even your eye can follow the hand go high. The other hand will go low. So you feel the up and down stretch. So one more time on. Little bit coiling up my right hand, down left hand, torso. You can feel that uh, vertical putting up. This is more like a Tiao Li Wei Pi Xu Dan Ju. It's a benefit of your stomach and the spleen channel. Stomach and the spleen, another pair, yin yang energy channel is a pair. So when you're up, you imagine your energy is uh, from the feet, go through the torso, follow the hand leading all the way putting up. And then you putting down return. The stomach channel is from the head in front of the face drop down to the toe. So this is more like a pair heaven and earth connection here. Then you can also add the breathing. If you see the long the breathing is an exhale, this is called breathing out, breathing in, then breathing out as you stretch and uh, breathing in return. So this will be same here. When we circle here, this uh, open is breathing out. And then receive is breathing in. You can switch the hand, this hand high, breathing out. This is a breathing in. Whenever the hand from the center go away, from the heart center go away, you can breathe in out. Then return, you will breathing in. Breathing in also the hand, you can see, no? it's a coiling. Then Breathing out again. Then low hand go up, high hand go back low. This achieve a switch, alternate the hand. And you want to involve your feet and the leg into the motion, not only the arm. You can feel the earth energy. It's a spiral up. And the heaven energy is gathering in and uh, receive. So that's why we, this is the inhale time. This is the exhale. Okay, so this uh, majorly on is uh, high and low open the torso. If you see the single whip is the left and right, left and right open the so the energy flow. Now it's up and down. So posture number four. 
It's by He Liang Chi. Take a look first. <coughs> Out bending. Turning up both hand extension toward the sky. Then receive one more time. You can see bending down, you can breathing out, breathing in. Breathing out, breathing in. All right, on. This posture, you can feel the whole torso. It's a good extension. When we make the torso stretching up, we open the triple energizer, which is the front part of the torso, okay? And we also have a bending. When we bending, we stretch the lower back, try to elongate the lower back. And also the hand, one forward up, another down. And uh, follow the bending, you will turn the torso. When you turn, you can see this side. When I turn, my left hand initially is bending toward my right toe. So I create the body a little bit twist, twisting. Then this uh, give a energy to twist, follow that twist, my left arm, hand, also turn, turn the palm facing out, then uh, go back, from back, all the way up. Okay, this posture majorly is open your heart, breathing channel. Okay, the heart is from right under the armpit, all the way, like a happy bird. That's why we call it Bai He Liang Chi, the white crane. Uh, opening the wings. So you let the stress out of your heart. And then uh, when you draw this hand down, your hand a little twisting. Pay attention to your small finger. The small finger is rotated because the heart meridian channel from under armpit all the way to small finger. And then from the outside small finger, come back, that is the small intestine energy channel. So this is a pair. When you let it go, this palm facing out, let go, stress. But then uh, you as if you take the energy from the heaven and all the way drop, even torso a little bit down. The small intense meridian channel is to return the energy back. Then you can switch another hand low, turn the other side, and then from back up, and let go stress, return the energy in. 